Hello, I'm Matthew Wilkinson and today I'm going to be taking you around our huge manufacturing facility here in Doncaster and all the different processes that go into making our fantastic quality built trailers you see on the road today. Let's take a look. So the first stage in our production here at Montrecon Doncaster, it starts with the raw material. So behind me now we have the raw steel that is coming from our suppliers. This then makes its way onto our plasma cutter. This allows us to create components in-house, reducing lead times on suppliers, but also it allows us to keep a closer eye on our production and the quality that is required. So let's take some of these cuts. So this is the cuts recently made by our plasma cutter. As you can see, that is precision engineering at its finest. This is one of our curtain cider products that we've got going through the factory at the moment. If you take a look at some of the parts, The team then moved this across the factory over to our beam welder. As you can see, it's a huge piece of kit. But if you take a closer look here, you can actually start to see some of the trailer coming together now. This one has actually already been through our beam welder. Now we have the beams welded. They then move over to the other side of our factory at this point. We actually attach the kingpins, the cross members, the lashing rings, amongst others, as you can see here. Got the guys getting these in place now. It then moves on to our manipulators. We have four of these in total at Montrecon Doncaster. The chassis is then attached to this track above our head. Once it's attached there, it is able to run through the factory vertically through our shot blast into our paint plant facility which we'll show you a bit later on. So once that chassis has been through our shot blasting machine it then makes its way on the overhead tracks into our priming booth. So we're going to take a look at that now. As you can see the track runs directly through into our primer booth and if we go into here now we can take a look what's going on. So once that chassis has been primed it then goes into the primer oven. Once it's finished there, it runs again on the overhead tracks above us into this room. This is called the cool room. In this room, it'll slowly make its way across and then finally it'll enter our paint booth. In here, it will have its first coat of paint applied. The paint color is totally down to you and your business's requirements. Behind me now, we have our standard post office red, our aircraft blue and our black. Should you need any other colours, we are able to mix any combination to find the perfect solution for you and your business. So now that trailer has made it through our shot blast and paint facility, it then heads onto this line still on the overhead track and it's called pipe and wire. And what this allows the team to do is fit those all important airlines through the trailer while they have the access. The trailer is actually moving slowly across the factory to ensure we keep that production flow. Once the trailer has finished on our pipe and wire section, it then moves over to this section behind me. This is bay one, and here they will have their axles fitted to the trailer, the landing legs, amongst other smaller components which they now have access to. But it's important to remember, still to this point, this trailer hasn't touched the ground just yet. So we're in bay two of the pipe and wire section, and this is where the trailer get those recognizable parts fitted, such as the rear rubber buffers, the rear light bar, foot guards like here, and also we have the side guards. Also in this stage, we will fit the electrical components, such as the Susie at the front. So in those few stages, a lot has happened to these trailers. Moving forward now, they've still got to have their flooring fitted, so they move on to the flooring bay. The flooring's down and we're nearly ready. The next step is the body assembly. So at this point, we would assemble the bulkheads, the rear doors and the roof will be assembled in this section. So our box fan products are actually moved just across in our factory and that is to ensure we actually have enough space to fit these high quality GRP panels which are manufactured in-house by Montrecon as well, ensuring we can keep a closer eye on that quality. Also at this stage, the team will fit the front bulkhead, the rear doors, load locking systems and the roof. No matter if it's a box van or curtain cider, they all require roofs. Our roofs are all built in-house but off of our production line. And this is so we can have all our roofing ready to actually 
fit straight onto the trailer, reducing the amount of time that is actually required on the production line. Moving further forward through the factory and nearing the actual end of our production line, the team come to our assembly bay too. In this bay, the team will attach the curtains to the trailers, amongst with load lock and other specified components. We are now at the end of our production line here in Doncaster. We're in the end of line tests and PDI bay. So the final inspections will go into these trailers to ensure they are fit for purpose and ready to go on the road today. Once completed, they will head out and their new life begins. So I hope this video has given you a great insight into how we manufacture our trailers here at Montrecon Doncaster. If you would like any further information, don't hesitate to contact us on 01302 732 500, visit montrecon.com or find us on all the social medias. Thank you.